So if you're like our typical arthritic patients with hip and knee arthritis, um, you've probably tried a number of different modalities, medications, or exercises to try to optimize the joint. And you're wondering what else can be done. Some of these modalities that have shown to have a significant effect on joint performance and reducing pain are things as simple as exercise, physiotherapy, the appropriate use of analgesics and anti-inflammatories, and other joint stabilization uh, methods or, or techniques, including bracing for symptomatic unstable knees. One of the other ways that you can improve your joint symptoms and potentially prolong the period of time before you need joint surgery is to optimize your overall global health and um, body mass. It's very uh, clear that the higher your body weight, the more load you put through a symptomatic joint like a hip or knee. And therefore, safe and reasonable body weight optimization should be considered as a potential option to try to improve your symptoms. However, if there's arthritis on x-ray, it doesn't have to be severe, but severe enough to warrant consideration for joint replacement, we also would expect you to have a scope of symptoms that might include profound difficulties doing tasks of everyday living, um, sleep disruption, um, starting to really affect how you live your life. If you are feeling sufficiently disabled that it is starting to dictate the course of your life, then it's important to come and have a consultation with your orthopedic surgeon. After you sign the informed consent that you want to go ahead with surgery, there's often a waiting time. It's important to understand that that waiting time for surgery is not wasted time. We like to encourage you to use that time while waiting to truly optimize your health. What that means is if you're a diabetic, try to get your sugars under very good control. If you're a smoker, try to wean yourself off of the nicotine. If your joint is deconditioned, use that time while waiting to condition those muscles, which will then translate into a quicker and more accelerated recovery. It's also important to have realistic expectations when it comes to joint replacement outcome. Often the more disabled or the more contracted or the stiffer and weaker a joint is preoperatively, the longer your recovery pathway will be. The best possible outcome often correlates with joints and patients that have taken the time and effort to really condition or prepare for the surgery and to really optimize those muscles that they will depend on in order to get the joint working well again afterwards.